In this demonstration, I'll show you how to graph line equations. I have four equations for you, and I will graph each of these using their own colors on this x and y plot. I'll start off with the first one. In this case, it's always best to define your slope and your b value. Now recall that the skeleton of a wa of of a linear equation is y is equal to mx plus b. Now this is in slope y-intercept form, and it's always the best to put it in this form if you don't if you don't intend on creating a table. So, given this equation and this template where m represents your slope and b represents your y-intercept, what would be the slope and the y-intercept of this? Well, m is always right beside the x or the independent variable, so our m value would be a 1. And our y-intercept would be minus 4. Now, let's define our axes here. This will be our y-axis, and this will be our x-axis. And if you don't intend on creating a table of values, start with your y-intercept. That's the point where the line passes the y-axis. Since it's negative 4, place a point at negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Perfect. The next thing that you want to do is you want to use your slope as a stepwise pattern. Now remember, slope is defined as rise over run, so it has a top and a bottom. And in our case right here, we have a rise and a run as one. So what you could do in a situation like this is you can visualize this as being one over one, which is also equal to one. But now you can use this as your rise and this as your run. So we're gonna rise one up because it's positive one, and run one to the right. Put another point right there. And then you can keep doing this. Now, you don't need to do it more than two times. So you already have two points, so you can easily create a line right now. But I'll just create some more points just because I can. And if you connect these points with a line, let's see if we can do that. If you connect these points with a line, you should get your first point. Now, that's not super accurate, but you get the point. Now, let's move on to the next one. And in this case, we have another equation, luckily, that's in y-intercept uh, form, slope y-intercept form, and therefore we can easily predict what our m will be, and it will be 1 over 3, and our slope, and our, sorry, our y-intercept for this case would be you guessed it, 2. So what we do in a situation like this, and what I'm going to do for clarity's sake, is I'm just going to erase this line, and I'm going to start with this. I will plot 2 at right here, and my slope is 1 over 3, which means I will have to rise 1 and run 3 to the right. So, I'm going to rise once up and then 3 to the right. 1, 2, 3. Now, like I said earlier, you can stop right there. You have two points. You can easily create a line. But I'll just continue with this pattern and I get the following. Wonderful. And I'll create, I'll sketch a line using my pen just to give you an idea of what the line would look like and of course you want to extend that line as much as possible for accuracy sake I'll just extend it to the points that I have there you are wonderful now we're gonna move on to the next one and in this case once again it is in slope y-intercept form it's in this format which is great but this time our slope is negative 4 over 5 and our run is still a positive number at 1. So we're going to start off by plotting 1 right there. And this
this suggests, this negative 4 suggests that we're going to be rising negative 4, which means we're going to be going down 4 and then going to the right 5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So there's our next point. I'm going to do one more just for good measure. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now before I connect these points, I just want to mention something very significant. You'll notice that right here, you have 4 over 5, but the negative is in the middle. So by convention, what we do is we give that negative to that 4. But equally valid, you can give... So this is what we do by convention, is what we did up here. But you can also give that negative to that 5, and, and that's equally correct. If you do give that negative to the 5 and you start off at your y-intercept, you can go up positive 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then to the left, negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So just keep that in mind, that is also okay. I'm going to connect these points. And lastly, which I find the most challenging to do, is this equation. Now, the reason why it's challenging is because it's not in slope y-intercept form, this format. You have to create or put it in this format in order to use this method. So let's put it in this format. Let's isolate for y. It's not so hard. You'll bring the 15 over, you'll bring the 3x over, and you end up with negative 5 y is equal to negative 3x, positive 15. Now, we divide both sides by negative 5. And we end up with y is equal to 3 over 5x minus 3. Excellent. Now, we can easily plot this. Let me just create some more space here. We can easily plot this because our slope is 3 over 5. And our y-intercept, your b value, is negative 3. So we're going to start off at negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to use my stepwise pattern of up 3 and over 5. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'll connect them the best I can. And I'll also, for good measure, I'll go down 3 and over negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you have it. That's it. That is how to graph any line equation without a table. If you have any questions related to this, please comment below or even visit our website at biology-forums.com where we can answer your question free of charge. And uh, if you found this video helpful, it would be nice if you could share it or like it. And we hope to see you soon.